Pivot tables are one of the most useful features of spreadsheet applications like Google Sheets or Excel. I am here with a very approachable example that is hopefully very timely and useful as well, which is to use pivot tables to organize your Thanksgiving shopping. If you're like me, you make some of the same recipes every year, so it's helpful to have a master list of all ingredients you need. And you might need something like carrots, for example, for your stuffing, as well as for the turkey. So it's nice to be able to combine those amounts and know how many carrots you need all together. So I'll start by creating my header rows for amount, ingredient, and recipe. And adding the recipe in a column will help us filter out certain recipes. So if we decide not to make something one year, we can take out all the ingredients for that recipe. So I'll go ahead and type in some of my ingredients. And it's important to keep everything in the ingredient column standardized. So if you say sweet potatoes in one recipe, don't put sweet potato in another recipe. You always want exactly the same thing there. And so for example, here you can see I put tablespoons butter and I wouldn't want to put sticks of butter in another row. Great, so now I have my giant list of ingredients I need right here. Now the next part's going to be a little bit different in Excel or Google Sheets. I personally prefer to use Google Sheets because I can access the list on my phone when I'm shopping. You could also do this as easily in Excel, just adding a pivot table is a little bit different. So in Google Sheets, I'm going to go into Data, Pivot Table. For rows, I'm going to add my ingredient. It gives me a list of every unique ingredient I've put on my master list. And then on values, that's where I want to sum up how much of each item I need. I'm going to add the amount. And you can see it automatically summed that amount. It added up all of the carrots I need across all of my recipes and so on. So this worked pretty well. And here's where the magic happens. Let's say Aunt Martha is bringing her fabulous stuffing to my Thanksgiving and I no longer need to make stuffing. I can go down to my filters and filter by recipe. So right now it's showing all items, but if I go in here and uncheck my stuffing, now all of my amounts adjust. This is an amazingly flexible way to summarize data. And any kind of spreadsheet where you have rows with the same types of things, like I have multiple rows with carrots, pivot tables are your friend. If you're cooking this week, I hope you have a great time in the kitchen and a great time with your family. Thanks so much.